Hello! Today on the channel we're going to be unboxing Hammerhead and Black Cat. A couple of Hasbro uh, uh, retro figures from the Spider-Man Classic Animated Series. Um, yeah, I got these, well I got uh, Black Cat a little while back. I did a Monday Night Figure Fun Day where I talked about grabbing up the Black Widow. I did the same with Hammerhead now that I think about it too. But it's been a real... Uh, it's been a while. I can't remember exactly how long, but it's been a while. Uh, but I had pointed out that this uh, kneecap was missing, but then one uh, I got a comment from somebody that said it was probably just flipped backwards um, from the thigh cut to the boot cut. So hopefully I'll be able to flip that around and the knee will look correct. When I get close up, you'll see what I'm talking about. And Hammerhead I got really cheap at Walmart. It was on sale for nine bucks. You can see the tag right there. I didn't peel it off or anything. I just kind of left it. <clears throat> but there's two figures that I needed uh, from my Spider-Man shelf that I'm currently trying to get going. I'm trying to unbox a lot of these Spider-Man figures to get that shelf on underway. All right, enough blabbering. Here's the front of the boxes. Here's the back. Again, these are two older figures, quite a bit older. Like, I don't know if I can find the date. Okay, this says 2020. Oh, I don't see the date on this one. I'm not gonna waste your time. When I get closer up, maybe it'll pop up. But this was bought off Amazon from another seller. That's why the barcode is covered up and there's a little bend in the card so that's why you're getting a bad glare there but there's the back of the boxes here's from the side right there flip around to the other side right there and then the top view not much to see but there it is and a bottom view of black cat and then a top view of Hammerhead. And the bottom view, not again, not much to see. There it is, let's set this here, pull back, and then we'll get a closer look at everything, and then we will get it unboxed. Sorry, we got that $9 tag in the way there, but couldn't pass this up. The, the box is beat up. Like if I was going to put this on the wall, I would have never bought it, but for unboxing on the channel, yeah, it's worth nine bucks. Yeah, it was pretty beat up. <clears throat> yeah, four plus, classic Spider-Man, retro Spider-Man, I guess is what they say. A couple of different hands. Uh, there he is with his big head. A couple of punchy fists installed. He comes with a baseball bat. And uh, there's that artwork there on the side. Very good. Let's flip it around. More logo. Spider-Man classic cartoon. There he is again. And there is a blurb. If I can get it in there, there you go. If you'd like to read it. And there's other figures in the line. So the only other one I have, well, I have Shocker and Hobgoblin. I don't, I didn't get this symbiote Spider-Man. I got the two-pack with um, uh, Carnage. Uh, but I don't have Ben Riley Spider-Man or Spider-Man Mark One armor. I could have bought both of those, but I passed on them. I don't know. But uh, there's the bottom. I beat up. There's your barcode legalese. I didn't see a date. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 20, 2022. Okay, so this one's a little newer. It says 2022. Not not too bad. Whereas Black Widow said 20, 2020, right? Yeah, 2020. Okay, so here's Black Widow. There's Marvel Comics. There's that Spider Man logo. And there she is with a black cat. This is kind of the same cat I think Hasbro uses in all these Marvel Legends. I've seen it paired with uh, Captain Marvel. Oh, and a couple other figures too. But it's the same cat with his paw out. You see that same cat in a lot of these different sets. There's black cat. There's the whip. There she is. And the bottom. Here's the back. Same deal. Spider-Man logo, there she is again, and we'll get it so you can read the blurb there, hopefully we don't get a glare, yeah, you can read that, and we'll go ahead and uh, pan down to that different barcode, but anyway, let's set these, well, let's go like this, I'm going to have to cut these out with an X-Acto knife, let's see, there it is, let's cap it, let's get both of these cut up and then I'll get them out. So there's always a spot here I can start that has it's open. And then I just start cutting away. 
I will say these are my least favorite twin box. You can't just rip it like I do like the Super Mario Brothers Jax figures because it is sandwiched in there. It's fantastic if you're going to leave it in the box, but if you're a loose collector, it's not my favorite thing. All right, that one's ready to go. Let's get Hammerhead ready as well. I'd say these Spider-Man figures and the... Well, I'd say the worst figures to do this with are the uh, Fantastic Four ones that they had with the big circle. Those, those took a while. Those were not my favorite to do. All right, that should be enough to get it done. Let's get that cap. Make sure there's no blood. No, got it. Very good. All right, let's get him out of here. There he is. Get his baseball bat out first. Whoop, there we go. Whoop. Let's keep it from going on the floor at least. Looks like we got our piece of tape over the top of the hands. There's one. Two. Great. Uh, there's Hammerhead. Very good. All right. Set him back here. And let's get uh, Black Cat out. All right. Here's that cat accessory that's in a lot of stuff. Little playful paw. These little green eyes, I don't know, I think this would look cool on a Halloween display, honestly. <laughs> black cat, black cat. Alright, let's see that whip. Very soft plastic on the, uh, the braided part here. That's well, all soft plastic, the whole thing is super soft. It works. Okay, and black cat. Let's see if I can fix this leg. Okay, yeah. So like the person said, just flip this around. As you can see, you couldn't. it looked like there was no kneecap there. You just need to flip it around. Oh, but the boot cut. Is there? There's no boot cut. <laughs> this thing was installed backwards. Right? I think if I can get the foot to be flipped around, that would probably do it. Right? Because there's no... I was thinking there would be a boot cut. Oh, this is a factory defect. Big time. <laughs> That's funny. Everything's fine now, except for the foot is backwards. So I wonder if I can give that foot a hot bath, pop it out. I bet it. Oh, you know what? Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Just flip it around. Because really, it's just on a, on a, on a rocker there. Or a, uh, a pig. Not a pig, what am I trying to say? One of those things that goes inside of the other things that makes the things move. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not with it today. Okay. Problem solved without hot water or anything. Man, how goofy do I feel? Pretty goofy. Okay. Averted. Because really this is how it came. Flip and flip. Oh boy. Goof. All right. Very good. Ah, that was That was special. Uh, the word I was trying to think of was peg. There's a peg going into the foot. <laughs> All right, let me let me collect myself here for a second. All right, let's do this. All right, here is the head. Whoa, that collar is way up there. Is it supposed to be that high up? I feel like that choker collar is too high. Let's pop that head off. Oh, well, no, yeah, here we go. So you're seeing it's just a ball joint. It's not a ball joint with a rocker, just a straight ball joint. Because, yeah, that should be down to there, I think. That choker. Blech. Very good. That looks way better. All right. So not a factory defect, just put together wrong. Not a ton of movement on this head. I didn't think there would be so much hair. So you can do a little side-to-side -side action, maybe. That's about it. All right. You got to peg on a rocker there for the shoulder no no bicep cut it is just a single arm joint so it's kind of like the Star Wars Black Series where it's a peg on a rocker for the elbow just like the shoulder not even going to give you 90 on this one sometimes I go a little past 90 right at 90 this one's not quite to 90 and of course you can get a little rocker up and down there and swivel on the hand you got your standard 
female Marvel Legends, where it's just a, just a hula hoop here. So there's a hula hoop back, hula hoop forward, side to side. But it is just a ball joint. No waist cut. None of the females have waist cuts until I think the newer uh, Black Widow that came out that I wasn't able to get. It was a Target exclusive. Hopefully someday I'll be able to get it, but kind of sold out real fast and I didn't get it. But apparently that one has a waist cut and a hula hoop. So that'd be cool. And a bicep cut and butterflies and the whole kit and caboodle. Everything that Marvel Legends should have had a long time ago. All right. So for leg, we got a ball joint right there. That's the kick out to the side. That's the kick forward. There's your kick back. It does have a thigh cut. Of course, we, we saw that it had a thigh cut. This whole debacle on the knee here. Uh, and then there is pins. It's an older figure <clears throat> in the knee. Double jointed, but yeah, I'll get you to there. And no boot cut, <laughs> as we noticed. And there's just a peg on a rocker for the foot. So very cool figure, glad to have it. Glad that I didn't have to do any kind of modification to get it to be correct. It just needed to be flipped around, flip around the, the thigh cut and flip around the foot. Good to go. All right, hammerhead. All right, he's just got, let's see, let's pop it off. So he's got a double ball joint. So you got a ball joint down below, ball joint up above. Blink. There's your head up. Let's get a focus to go. There we go. And head down, side to side. Ooh, he's got a lot of side to side action. He can look real confused. What do you say, boss? What? I'll smash you with my head. All right. But yeah, he can exorcist as well. Just a ball joint as we saw. Um, let's see. So he's got this whole coat piece is over the top. And all right. So there's a, a pin going in on a rocker there for the arm. And you can spin it around. Um, he's got his bicep cut there. Double jointed elbow, but it does have the pins. And he's got a front and back rocker there for the fist. Like I said, he's got this whole coat piece over the top here. You can't really see what's underneath, but he does have a waist cut. It looks like it's on a ball joint. So you're gonna be able to go all the way around, rock the forward just a tad, back just a tad. Um, his legs are ball joints. Down in there, his kick out is to here. Let's see, where's the focus? There it is. His kick forward is to there. His kick back is to here. And then he's got a thigh cut, which gets a little funny because of those pinstripes, but if you can get the pinstripes to match up, it's not too bad. You got a double jointed knee, and it does not have pins, which I'm surprised. You would think if you don't have pins here, you wouldn't have pins here. So no pins on the knee, so it's kind of weird, but it gets way back. And then we've got just a peg on a rocker there for the foot. All right, both very cool, two very cool figures, I think, for Spider-Man, for a Spider-Man shelf. All right, let's pull this forward and get these guys lined up. We saw the cat up close, we saw the whip up close. He got his two extra hands. He's got both holdy hands and then punchy fist installed. This one punchy fist does have um, brass knuckles. It's kind of cool. And we didn't look at the baseball bat up close, but it is just, it doesn't have any kind of, doesn't look like wood or anything. No wood texturing, no texturing really at all. Just a little baseball bat. All right. Get a better shot of that right there. There's everything that comes in the boxes for these two figures. Let's wipe away the accessories. Grab a couple Marvel Legends figures here and throw them next to them for some scale. As always with Marvel Legends, I like to throw Juggernaut in there. My biggest figures. Juggernaut! I know he's not Spider Man related, but he is Marvel related, so they're all kind of in the same shared universe. Uh, who else do we got? Uh, really, all we have. Well, you know what? I uh, unboxed these not too long ago. There's Mary Jane and Green Goblin. Those are from the two pack from the classic animated series two pack VHS box. All right. Focus. All right. There's your Black Widow and Hammerhead crew. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching.
So he's got this whole coat piece is over the top and what hold on a minute all right so there's a, a pin going in on a rock 